Hello everyone, I'm Denise Love and today I want to show you a little hack. I have a lot of people ask how do I peel the tape off my art without it tearing the paper. Even the nicer papers sometimes tear for them. So today I want to show you what tapes you can use what tapes I recommend you not use and then I'm going to show you my secret little hack which is not so secret lots of people do it but I want you to see it too on how to get that tape to peel off nice and clean every single time so let's get started in this video let's talk about how you peel your tape off your paper without it tearing your paper and I get it tape will tear the paper ruin your piece of art and I'm going to show you my secret to prevent that. So let's talk about what type of tape you can and cannot use for this. So as far as tapes not to use, don't use a gaffer's tape. Don't use packing tape. Don't use drafting tape or masking tape. All of those are any other kind of tape that you just normally would grab at the store. All of those are going to be super tacky and they're not going to release the paper when you go to peel it. So you're going to tear your paper every time. And if this is the most important piece of art you ever created, you're going to want to cry. So let's talk about the kinds of tape that you should be looking for. You should be looking for an artist tape and I have um, several different kinds of artist tape from the Dick Blick and from Amazon and you want them to say on the package artist tape. Then you know it's a low tack, possibly repositionable, acid free tape that is meant for you to be able to tape your artwork, make your art, and peel the tape without ruining the, the piece of art or tearing your paper. You can also look for painter's tape at the paint store, the blue tape. The purple tape is really nice because it's made for sensitive surfaces and I like that because my art is a sensitive surface and so the purple tape is a little bit lower tack even than the blue tape but either one's fine. You could even use that green frog tape. Um, so a painter's tape or an artist tape is what you should be looking for and it really depends on your type of paper. So usually if I'm using, this is a white artist tape from Blick and I know it's not the masking tape because I can see the Blick inside. Um, usually if I'm taping something down and I'm using a really nice paper, 100% cotton perhaps, I can tape that down pretty good and then when I'm all done, I can be very careful, kind of peel it at an angle and you can see I peeled that tape without tearing any of the paper. Some people say that they even have trouble on the nice expensive papers and you're definitely going to have trouble on say student grade papers or papers that have wood pulp mixed in with it so that is your papers that have maybe a little bit of cotton and a little bit of wood pulp or all wood pulp. Those tend to just grab that tape and just tear and you just you're very upset when that happens trust me. <laughs> so my secret for you Let's just tape this down so that you can see. If you're peeling tape and you see it start to grab the paper, stop. Stop what you're doing. Don't continue to peel it because it'll grab more and more paper and then pull whole sections off like I did up here. But grab a heat gun and a heat gun is different than a blow dryer. A blow dryer blows out lots of air. A heat gun blows out very little air but a whole lot of heat and I want you to use a heat gun, heat up that tape surface and then peel the tape. Heat makes that adhesive release and you know you'll you'll probably have noticed this if you're doing watercolor painting and you're trying to get into a hurry or any kind of painting really and you're in a hurry and you're like let me just use my heat gun on this and speed it up and then you notice that your tape separated and maybe your watercolor slipped underneath the tape where you didn't want it that's because this makes that adhesive um, release so if we already know that this paper rips good so let's heat this piece of tape up down here and just see how this works in practice and you could even be heating this and then very carefully peeling it with your other hand too just be careful not to be heating up your hand because it, it's really really hot
can't peel and blow at the same time. But look at that. Oh, look how easy that just came off. Like it just released from that paper with no effort. <laughs> Amazing how. Just heat it up and then it just lets go. It's amazing how well that works and you saw how easily that ripped if I just put one more on there and I go to peel that paper and let's say I'm even trying to be fairly careful even careful I immediately started ripping that paper coming from the other side now I've heated it up look at that just comes right off so I hope that helps all your frustration for paper peeling the tape uh, because that is the best way to make sure that you're not going to ruin like the best piece you ever created by tearing the sides which could tear the nice edge that you created and it could tear right into the art so heat gun that is my secret and i hope it helps you out i'll see you next time